I wonder where the sea animals are. I don't see any. You see something. Push. A sea turtle. Peekaboo. Peekaboo octopus. I see you. Down, down, down. A shark. One little sea turtle swimming in the water. One little octopus wiggling in the water. One little lobster pinching in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Peekaboo. Ah! Peekaboo. Ah! Peekaboo. Ah! Peekaboo. Ah! Hi everyone, we have a new simple and sweet ocean themed story for you all as a follow up to last week's big underwater adventure. Introducing Pika Reef, illustrated and created by GoGo -Go Speech. Our peekaboo stories have been so much fun with our little ones, so this is going to be perfect for the early intervention and preschool age kids on your caseload. We are going to be playing a lot of peekaboo with lots of different sea animals, which should help bring a ton of engagement and language to your sessions. As I'm sure you all know, peekaboo is an amazing game for early language development. You can teach many of those pre-verbal skills that are so important for building language. So you'll be working on joint attention, imitation, gesture, gestures, facial expressions, lots of turn-taking, social play, and you'll be facilitating so many really great interactions and getting awesome engagement. I'm also going to be showing you another way to play by singing along with the story. So I'm going to walk you through it. In this first portion of the activity, the animals are going to be the ones hiding and popping out to say peekaboo. So we're going to be revealing each of the animals to start. There are nine different types of sea animals in this activity with one bonus creature at the end. So we'll have a sea turtle, an octopus, a stingray, three seahorses, a dolphin, four fish, a shark, a lobster, and a starfish or a sea star. The first slide will show the seaweed with nothing behind it, so we can wait for an animal to come. Hmm, I wonder where the sea animals are. I don't see any. You see something. It's green. So as each of the sea animals are hiding, you can have the child try to guess what animal it might be based on what they see. Then you can pretend to move the seaweed and get the animal to come out by using a repetitive phrase that addresses the child's speech and language targets. So maybe you'll say, open or come out. Who's there? Let me see. Move the seaweed. Push. Peek through. I see you. Who is it? Down or pull down. Push the seaweed. Push. A sea turtle. Peekaboo. And you can describe each of the animals. So as each animal is revealed, you might say, push. Peekaboo octopus, I see you. Or you can pick another repetitive phrase depending on the child's speech and language goals. You might be working on other goals like articulation or identifying attributes or formulating sentences, which can all be worked on throughout this activity as you play. You can work on greeting each of the animals. Hi, Stingray. Or maybe you'll say, something's hiding behind the seaweed. Let's look. Push. Seahorses. Peekaboo, I see you. Bye, seahorses. Move the seaweed. Let's look. Four fish. Pull it down, 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 down. A shark. After you move the seaweed, you can also go back to the slide before to cover it back up and use the same animal multiple times. Grab the seaweed, cover it up. The shark is hiding again. Open. Peekaboo. Go hide. Peekaboo. Another way to play in this first half of the story, you can sing the song Bubble Bubble Pop. And you would sing it each time you reveal another animal. So I'll show you an example. Push the seaweed. Push a sea turtle. One little sea turtle swimming in the water. One little sea turtle swimming in the water. One little sea turtle swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. And then you'll move to the next slide to reveal the next animal. Push the seaweed an octopus and continue singing. And you can change the words to fit some of the different sea animals. One little octopus wiggling in the water. One little octopus wiggling in the water. One little lobster pinching in the water. One little lobster pinching in the water. One little starfish sitting in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. So now that all of the animals from the first half of the story have been revealed, you are going to say, now it's your turn to do peekaboo. So now the child will have a chance to hide their eyes and say peekaboo. You can take turns with this portion of the activity, so you might switch between the child, the clinician, and even the caregiver if they're present in the session. And depending on the child, you might start with the child going first, or you might do it yourself and show them what it looks like. It's my turn to do peekaboo. Cover my eyes. Peekaboo! <gasps> The turtle is surprised, or we scared the turtle. And you can go back to the slide before to make the turtle smile again. The kids are going to love watching the animals react whenever you say peekaboo, and they're going to love seeing the facial expressions on the therapist as well as their caregivers. Peekaboo! Ah! And again, you can go back to the slide before to make them smile again and keep repeating it with the same animal. Peekaboo! Ah! Peekaboo! Ah! 
we scared him again. And if you have the parents present for the session, it's really fun to have the parents get involved too and do the peekaboo themselves. Ah! Peekaboo! Ah! Peekaboo! Ah! Peekaboo! Ah! Peekaboo! Ah! Now the very last part of this activity includes all of the animals. So now we're going to take turns again playing peekaboo and you'll see we have a crab joining us. The crab's going to cover its eyes and then open them to say peekaboo with us. Peekaboo! We scared all the animals. Silly faces. They're surprised or scared. And you can go back and forth between these two slides as many times as you want. GoGo members will also get access to a printable PDF that includes all of the sea animals you see in the story, as well as a picture of the reef and seaweed. This PDF can be used in person for some hands-on play or emailed over to the grown-up for a virtual session. And it comes in color and in black and white. There's a lot of different ways that you can use this resource during and after the story. So you can cut out the animals and add them to an underwater scene as they appear throughout the activity. Or you can play a game taking turns hiding a sea animal behind the reef seaweed and giving clues to guess which one it is. Or you can put one of the animals in front of the reef one at a time and sing the Bubble Bubble Pop song. So I hope you have so much fun with your little ones and I hope it's a really great resource to work on those early language skills in your sessions. I'll see you next time. Bye!